All and right, that's you the can start hear, of you can hear in the background heat number six, heat 18 of round number three. Uh, it's the sixth heat in round number three. And uh, here we are, Andrew Lester out in the water in the red jersey and Sam Bennett, how's that uh, look right there, in the yellow jersey. And uh, the local wild card, Juan Carlos Faria, is out in the water right now in the black jersey. <laughs> look at Sam Bennett. Yeah, he's a... Uh like he needs a shower or bath or something. <laughs> <laughs> Filthy. Nah, he's, a, right. he's a legend of a guy. and um, His mom. His mom is uh, probably one of those uh, bodyboarding support supporters that, uh, you know. Yeah, Margot Bennett. I'm sure she'll be watching. And uh, I'm sure the whole of Port Macquarie and the PM PMBA Bodyboarding Association. All right. You know what we're going to do right now? If you are in Port Macquarie and you are watching your own uh, Sam Bennett, I don't need anything. Just... Uh, just say, uh, you know what, Port Macquarie, I'm going to say P, Port, I don't know how to spell it. Holy mackerel. <coughs> so I'm to say a little shout out to uh, Guy William. He's um, in Sydney, Australia, watching out. I've and been riding. Sam Bennett, this nice This is the man role. at the moment, Sam Bennett, just in, uh, taking off to do a nice little roll. It's good to get something under your belt in the first few minutes, I think, just to have that ease where you're not hunting for a second wave uh, in the last few seconds of the heat, so... That's my, my opinion. Um, I know Guilherme Tamega is, uh, is one of those supporters. And Sam Bennett right here. I want to be certain of the leash today. I know yesterday he paddled out here with no leash. And um, I was speaking to him afterwards. I'm like, Sam, you got you got to just make sure you got a leash out there. You don't want to lose your board. I know it's, um, if you lose your board, it's, it's quite far, far back out there. And um, it's going to cost you like at least 10 minutes of the heat. And there's no way you'll be coming back from it if you lose your board. So let's hope that Dallas, uh, let's hope that um, Sam Bennett has his leash on today. But uh, right now he's got the first score on the board. Just waiting for the scores to drop down. Welcome once again, everybody. This is uh, the 2012 Sintra Portugal Pro. This is event number five of eight on the Grand Slam series, the IBA World Tour. We are currently in round number three of the main event in the men's division, the showdown format is at hand and this yes. is an elimination round round number three currently out in the water in red andrew lester up and riding andrew lester <coughs> opening up his account oh. with a nice little heiress he's not holding bags with nothing to lose man this um nice nice clean one strong man wave. from cronella he's um surfing that alley ripple all day and this oh. is a nice even better looking wave from sam but on the outside i love those bottom turns straight off yeah, the bottom straight up lip maneuver it's super clean move right there, and clean wave right there for Sam Bennett. Look at another look at Andrew Lester's wave. Yes, replay, just highlighting it. Always on at that end ball, going up and over for a roll, and then turning his board into an ARS. That's um, a textbook ARS. If you ever, know, if you, if you ever want to know how to do one, that's uh, how you do them. And there's a replay of Sam Bennett's wave. It's a nice bottom turn, extension, extension on the arm. You can see he does have a leash on today. And, uh, yeah, it's a good little way for good exchange for the Australians, Sam Bennett and Andrew Lester, taking charge in this um, heat number, what is this, heat number seven? Heat number six of round number three. All right, as time is winding down, as uh, the riders get back out into the lineup, we do have the interview with the winner of the last heat downstairs with Natasha. To Natasha, where are you at? And here we are, Manny, with the Super Jeff Hopper, the guy that flies, the guy that knows how to fly. It's like a superhero, you know, he just needs a cape and go to the wave. But let me tell you something, that last wave was really good, huh? I, I don't know, I felt good, I felt like I got some air, so I free fell after the flip and I landed in the barrel and I was like, uh-oh, I gotta try and make it out, you know, and then all of a sudden... It, is in the barrel and I just it closed out and then I punched through and I was like oh sweet I'm going in <laughs> I'm done heat's over stoked as always he's you know killing it and being super comfortable and stuff but let me tell just tell me something in this cold water how do you like your wetsuit wetsuit's awesome they got a 3-2 a new brand new 3-2 from uh, reflex the boys are reflex uh, in USA and in Australia just hooking it up and it's really comfortable Perfect for contests right now. I'm super stoked. It's a 3-2 Jupiter. And uh, these guys are supporting bodyboarding really well. Like, they sponsor the box contest. They sponsor lots of contests and really help out the IBA. So it's cool. Just go support support the people that support your sport. That's, you know, the main thing. If people are supporting bodyboarding, yeah, support them. Buy their products. You know, these are great products they have. So cool. I'm psyched. That, 
that's important because you know for for us for example coming from puerto rico or the caribbean getting into the water in this freezing conditions is terrible but you seem like it doesn't bother you at all that's why i was asking you so um we hope you have an incredible competition still and how glad you are that that dave is keep it's, 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 it's on you know everybody is like is everyone's killing it yeah everyone's ripping it's so fun to watch like it amps you up before you heat you see you know i see dave ripping and i see my brothers ripping and ben player everyone's just surfing so good and just like yeah it makes you amp like yeah i want to go out there and do that too this is so, this is so fun bodyboarding's fun jeff is always smiling jeff is always happy jeff is like in the mahalo spirit you know Aloha. So um, big thanks or big, big, you know, kisses or message to everybody. Yeah, just shout out to all my friends and family back home. Thanks for all the support. You guys are great. You know who you are. Aloha. <laughs> so let's go back to you, Manny. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations to Jeff Hubbard. Jeff Hubbard winning that last heat, heat number five of round number three. That was an elimination round. He, along with Yere Martinez, advance on. Dallas Singer, unfortunately, will not make it through, and uh, he is now in equal 17th place in the event. On the screen right here, we have uh, 18 minutes, 45 seconds remaining in uh, out of this 25-minute heat, round number three, heat 18, and that is the sixth heat in uh, round number three. Sam Bennett taking control right there, and uh, it looks like Andrew Lester and Juan Carlos Fada, yeah, he's still waiting for so uh, waveless. a yeah. waveless uh, heat so far for uh, the local wild card. Manny V here with Mom McCarty and the Hubbard brothers having a little chit chat. Talk about wild card. How's about that beard? <laughs> that thing is wild. Yeah, if he's letting that thing grow. And uh, I talked to him, uh, I think last year he says, yeah, it doesn't grow that long, that fast. So he's just letting it just <coughs> creep out of his chin. <laughs> nice. Here we go. I had a little short ride there for Yellow. And this is um, a better looking wave here for Andrew Lester. He's going to generate as much speed as he can and uh, make sure he gets. Up and over for a nice little invert. Oh. Good looking right there, Andrew and Lester. He is looking at getting a... He only needed a 3.13 to get into first place. Sam Bennett, he was currently in first place with a little score of 4.38 and a backup score of 4.63. So that's his two little waves. And um, it seems like Andrew Lester will move into first place after that wave. And still waiting for waves to be ridden from the Portuguese. Andrew Lester, here's another look. You can see him just holding that speed line, and he sees the section coming up, so he stays on that high line and just does, cranks a little quick turn on the high line and punches through the lip right there with an invert. Andrew Lester. Andrew wow, Lester. he is uh, back in the mix. Last year he uh, made it to the top 24 by doing the last few qualifying tours. Whoa, how's that look? Doing the last few uh, qualifying tours and uh, IB tours and was, do was doing well in the national tour, so... Boom, next thing you know, he's on the top 24 on the 2012 IBA World Tour. Yeah, he's back on and well-deserved. Um, it feels like he's never left. Yeah, it does. He's straight back onto it. And uh, he's ripping. He's, uh, he had some great results. He blew everyone away at Pop this year. He, he, did, the shock, he did the Shark Island. He did, um, he did the box. He's done every single event this year so far, and he's always just done so well. So he'll be looking at... Um, Moving on, moving on to round number four. Currently well, we know leading the heat. With, uh, we have scores that dropped here for loss of Andrew Lester. It uh, came in at a 5.88. So Andrew Lester taking the lead with a total score of 10.41. Sam Bennett, he's in second. Sam now looking for a 5.79 to take second. And um, the Portuguese, Ferreira, ha still haven't got a wave yet. He needs a nine-point ride. But still a lot of time left. There is... Just have a check. I think there will be about 20 minutes left in this heat. All right. We know that uh, the rider, the Portuguese rider in the black jersey is out there, but uh, he has yet to catch a wave. wonder what's going on through his mind. I mean, this is his, uh, his home break right here, and he has yet to catch a wave. I don't, I, he's been out of the contest arena for the past, oh, man, I don't even know how long, but he was one of those first names that I've seen come out of Portugal back in uh, my, you know, Back in my, uh, in the mid-90s. Generation. Yes, my generation. <laughs> and, um, well, right now he's just sitting there uh, just waiting for a wave. But Andrew Lester and Sam Bennett, they're marching forward. All right, Mark McCarthy, Manny V here giving you the live feed. So, Mark, where are you going from here? What's your next stop? Where are you heading? Yeah, from here I go down to, um, 
I'm going down to back to South Africa to Cape Town for a few more days, and then I'll be there for like four days. Hopefully, pick up myself a couple of new more, a couple of stealth models, and then um, head into Brazil for uh, I think uh, five or six days for the event in Rio. Then I'll move down to, Me to Mexico for a month, and, um, and I'll be back in for a month. Yeah. Oh, you're excited. Yeah, well, I'm excited. Eh? Are you going to stay in um, that area or are you going to go move around the no, coast? I'll probably stay in Porto. Okay. Porto I love that place. Um, yeah. There's so many little places and um, yeah, just a great place to hang around. Yeah, I love it down there too. Wow, so Ferreira, Faria in the black jersey has yet to catch a wave and we're uh, five minutes in. Oh, wait, speak of the devil, here he is. Nice bank reverse off the top, pulls it around. Yeah, that's a good good wave and a good way to start uh, this little campaign here in round number three. He's just riding this one all the way in. He's probably he probably got washed quite far down the beach and maybe wants to ride this one all the way in and then run run up the beach again. But he's riding this one all the way in. It's just uh, generating that speed. He wants to maybe put for a little roll inside here. For I don't know if that's uh, worth it. I don't know if it's worth coming all the way down the beach because that um, from the the riders I've been talking to that paddle back out is not. Uh, it's not a it's not a cakewalk. Oh look at him, he's still going. What? I wonder if he's just coming <laughs> in. <laughs> yeah, he's just coming in. He'll get lent the ride for that, but um yeah, it'll be an average score and um it's gonna take him a good um eight minutes I'd suggest to run up the beach and get out to the back. What do you think of this strategy? Oh it's a, you know, I don't know about that strategy. Probably wanna just try to stay out there and get two A's before he start making any moves. But we don't know how far down he was. You see Andrew Lester, he was in the back there also. So, yeah, nice little reverse. It'll come in an average score. We're still waiting for the scores to drop. So he got a 4.8 for that, which um, gets him into striking range. He now only needs a 4.21 to catch uh, Sam Bennett, who's currently in second place. So just to give you a score update, here's the man himself. <laughs> Wow, I would not want to see him in a dark alley. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I mean, seeing him around here too, he's fully cut, just uh, all muscle. But uh, this is his spot, and um, uh, if you play nice, you'll, you'll, you won't have any troubles. Yeah, there he is. He's just walked up the beach. He's probably out of breath. It's, it's quite a far run. Guys in the next seat, PLC, current world champion. He's looking at um, either making his move on the title. That wetsuit is his favorite wetsuit, or two, uh, Rip Curl hasn't sent him a new suit. Because <laughs> it looks a little uh, sun, uh, sun baked. Yeah. It's been summer in Portugal, so I'm sure that um, he's been serving in that suit a lot and getting a bit, bit of a sun damage on that. So Pierre, we'll see Pierre Lucas Tez up the next seat against Diego Cabrera in black and in yellow with Dave Hubbard. So that's just another jam packed heat. And um, it's just weird to know that one of those guys will not make it. And it's, um, it's, it's going to be intense heat to watch. But there we have on the screen right now the current situation with um, just uh, 11 minutes, just over 11 minutes and 40 seconds left. Andrew Letter with in the lead, Sam Bennett in second, and Mr. Ferreira in third. He only has uh, 4.8. He's only got one wave under his belt, but he's only looking at getting a 4.21 to move into second place. Just a reminder that uh, first and second do go through to round number four. And um, the guy that comes third goes home. And round number four in the Grand Slam series, the showdown format, is a, a non-elimination round. And that's, uh, that's one of those rounds where you really want to do well. You want uh, the first place knocks you straight into the quarterfinals. And second, third, and fourth, they will either go into round number five or round number six. And uh, round number four, very intense round. And that's coming up later on today, so you don't want to miss that. We do have a full lineup of action going down today. These are all 25-minute heats throughout the entire day. After heat number eight, Mark McCarthy's heat, uh, we're going to go straight into the women's division. And how's the little Grammys? Look at that. The board's pretty much the same size as him. <laughs> and that's like a 42-inch board right there. Oh, look at that small one there. Yeah, a little small custom board from, uh, I think it's Refresh Bodyboards making them little custom boards. How's the leash that little girl's trying to take off her leash, which is... <laughs> It's like twice as long as their board. All right, out in the water. Here we go. That is Sam Bennett in Sam the yellow Bennett jersey. On a punches through the lip. Bit nice looking wave roll. there for Sam Bennett. Going up and over for a nice barrel roll. Pull out Sam and get back out there. He's um, just wants to open up the gap between him and um, 
Fourth place, Gonzalo. He has a replay of Sam Bennett. Just a nice bottom turn going up and over, throwing himself, getting that arm extension. And um, a nice clean land there for Sam Bennett. So we wait for the last of Sam's scores to drop. He only needed he needed a 5.79 to get second, to get first, to take over first place, which is uh, Andrew Lester currently. Here we nine see, uh, yeah, nine and a half minutes left. The situation. Sam Bennett has moved into first place. So, as the scores are on their way down the pipeline, uh, how many days did you get here before the event started? Because I seen your Instagram. You went crazy with the Instagram photos, <laughs> going to all you know, these these popular spots. Uh, yeah, what have well, you been doing? I arrived here, I think, two days before the event started, and then there's obviously, um, they've got trials, and they've got, you know, the, all the women and the guys before us. So four days, I was here four days before I actually had to compete. So I just wanted to nail out, you know, most of the stuff as I can do, you know, going to Sintra, going to the castle, the palaces, um, so many beautiful things to do, and um, to keep yourself busy here in Europe. And, yeah, in Portugal, is just... Um, such a special place, you know. So did much you, history. Did you ever, uh, did you get over to Lisbon at all on the coastline over there? The coastline? Oh, yeah, I went down to um, Kash Kash, but he has Andrew Lester. He's currently in second place looking at um, oh, standing nice. or getting back into first. The nice roll. Andrew Lester, he was in second. He needed a 4.58, which I can guarantee you got on that one. That was nice. That thing was massive, too. Yeah, that was a nice, clean, looping roll. Andrew Lester, is just, um, he's mastered, those, mastered that roll. So yeah, I was able to get see a lot of stuff. Um, he has a replay of Andrew Lester's last wave. Just looking at the end ball, like scooping it, and just throw himself a nice in roll. Let's see if he did it. He did land it. He came through the wide water. Yeah, he did. So we just wait for the last of Andrew Lester's to drop. And it uh, is a six five eight for Andrew Lester. So the situation will change and move Andrew Lester back into first place. So it's Sam, ben Sam Bennett and Andrew Lester going up and down for first place. Here we see it on the screen right now. Andrew Lester getting a 6.58. So Sam Bennett is in second. And now Sam needs a 6.63. And uh, But the most important one we'll find out now. Yeah, Gon Gonzalo needs a 5.67. So yeah, it's still very doable, doable for him. I think he would have been. He would have made himself, made it to the back right now. He should be at the back there. So yeah, seven minutes left. The door's still open for him. Well, we did see him come out of the water and run down the beach to uh, have a little bit better paddle out next to uh, the hotel down there. There is a real little rip current that'll suck you out, and that is PLC's uh, lovely girlfriend um, Ruth and uh, PLC's little sister sitting down on the sand there. So Ruth and PLC traveling the world together as uh, PLC's on the world tour. Very cool couple. And uh, the sun is coming out. The paddleboard game is coming out, and everybody's uh, ready to have a good time on the beach. Another day, a beautiful day here on Praia Grande in Sintra. Yeah, it's going to be packed. It's a Friday, and um, oh, that's right. I'm guaranteed you know, within the next uh, hour or so, this beach is going to be packed with people. And you'll probably only be, a, you'll be able to park your car about five kilometers away. Yeah, if you're going to come down, you got to come down early to yeah. get a parking spot or uh, you're going to be parking up up and over the hill here in Sintra. And uh, that's a, that seems to be an issue with the parking. I mean, where else are you going to park? Yeah, it's, uh, you got to come early to get that good park. But, uh, yeah, that's the current situation. We see, Go see Gonzalo. He has made it back out to the back there. He's um, just going to put himself into a good position. He doesn't need much of a score. He needs a 5.63. So this is... Um, Pretty critical last uh, five and a half minutes, five minutes, uh, five minutes, 40 seconds left. And uh, Sam Bennett has that first priority. But well, a um, bunch of, um, well, we're, we're still waiting for a second wave from uh, uh, Gonzalo Faria. He just got back out into the outside. There's a ton of contests that are popping up uh, as, as, as the years go on and the IBA World Tours, uh, you know, the, the pinnacle of uh, bodyboarding competition. You're, you have contests coming up all over the world, including the Tanned International 2012. That uh, passed, but uh, I want to get your take on that. Up and riding yellow, Sam Bennett. Sam Bennett again, up and over for a nice roll. 
Oh, just, um, I think was, he tried to do that first roll so he can get himself in the second roll, but um, he's looking at uh, dropping his uh, worst wave, which is a 4.63, and I'd probably think that might just uh, might do that with uh, just five minutes left. He has a replay of Sam Bennett's little wave. Iron out that end ball, going up and over for a nice clean roll. The judges are going to love that. Nice. So let's see what Sam can get. Sam Bennett coming to us from Port Macquarie. He's 21 years old. He's about 8 feet 5 inches tall. <laughs> and uh, he's having a good time here in Portugal. He and Chase O'Leary are cruising around Sintra and enjoying everything that th this place has to offer. Sam Bennett still in the, in, uh, the comp. Chase O'Leary, unfortunately, did not make it through his last heat. And uh, Sam Bennett holding it down for uh, the Aussies. Yeah, that seems like the two Australians have taken charge of this heat, but it's not over. We see Gonzalez padding out. I don't know if he actually got a wave there. Interesting. Well, that could be the next heat. No, it is Gonzalez. We did get a wave. You just see. All right, scores are dropping. We can hear the Portuguese commentator down the beach. But look at this. Oh, ho, ho. Andrew Lester going up and over for a nice roll. Still going, still airing out that end ball. I think that's. Oh my gosh, and I think he's going to have a heat situation change. It seems like Gonzalo did get a, a good score. He needed a, a 5.67. Just hold your breath here. Yeah, we're going to see a replay of Andrew Lester, but as we watch the replay, we're waiting wow, for scores to that. drop for Gonzalo. Wow, this could, be, this could definitely smell trouble. There is a situation oh, change and a six-point ride. Six-point ride for Los Gonzales. Let's move them into second place. And now Sam Bennett has been knocked down to third. Sam Bennett only needed a 4.49. Three and a half minutes left. Oh, no. Another cruncher right here. Five minutes, less than five minutes remaining. Sam Bennett getting knocked down to third place. All yeah, he Sam needs Bennett. is a 5.49. Oh. So he's got plenty of time. All he needs is one solid wave. 4.98 4 or better. He's on the outside. He can, he can totally pull this off. But uh, Faria, wow, six-point ride, putting him in. He's only got two waves. This is going to really show the character of uh, Sam Bennett. Can he pull this, pull it through? He's got the ability. We know he's a great uh, up-and-coming athlete, and uh, he, can, he can definitely pull it. He only needs a 4.98. Wow, that's a huge. This could, this could be a huge upset. Two and a half minutes left. So um, that little strategy for Gonzalo running up the beach and um, getting himself into a better position worked for him. A bit of local knowledge there. Wow, coming so. down to the wire. Two minutes, 30 seconds remaining. Is it going to happen for, ben, for Bennett? Sam Bennett, he needs that wave to advance on. He needs a 4.98. Can he find it? Andrew Lester. Taking a look at this one, he's going to probably call this uh, his last wave of the heat. Oh, pulls out of that one, but uh, Andrew Lester looking solid. He's in that first place position. Sam Bennett. Uh, Andrew Lester asking for some scores in English, I believe. Because <laughs> yeah. we are giving him Portuguese and English uh, commentary. Look at him. He yeah. There's the English version. Here we go. Yeah, Sam Bennett. Can he oh, do it? Sam, Sam Bennett. Bennett. Can he pull it off? Make or break for Sam. It's a good looking wave. Hits the end ball and boom. Nice end of it. Sam Bennett. Can he push through? Yes, he does. 4.98 is what 4 he was looking for. 4.98. And um, that could be it. Paul McQuarrie, hold your breath because oh I believe. My. That could be it. I believe this could be the score that he does need. Oh, he, oh look at this. Nice, clean. clean about your mid, mid size wave. Boom. But look at the extension clean right there. It. And you got to remember, he's, he's actually about six foot two. And uh, when he's extended. <laughs> He's so, uh, pretty much um, with 55 oh seconds left. He's waiting for the last of Sam Bennett to drop. He needed, just to let you know, he needed a 4.98. And um, yeah, you can see he needed a 4.98. I don't think, I don't think that score that you see on the screen, that's not his last score. Here we go. Sam Bennett's getting a 5.35. Moving into back in second place. Oh my, look at that. Sam Bennett pulling it off in the last two minutes of this heat. Wow. Gonzalo Faria in the last second saw his dreams of advancing on to round number four go down the drain as Sam Bennett in the last wow. few minutes 
is able to pull off a 5.35. He was on the hunt for a 4.98 wave, and that was good enough. Oh, good, Sam. It's uh, those kind of victories, you know, that you know, can change you oh. uh, as an athlete, and that's um, well, that was good to watch. Well done, Sam Bennett, and well.